Roy Heron has addressed Fortune 500 corporate executives, Ivy League students, Nobel, MacArthur, and Fulbright winning professors, congressmen and U.S. senators, national and international reporters and editors. He's also spoken to jurors and judges in courts, constituents in country stores, colleagues in the legislature, and citizens in all 95 Tennessee counties. He's educated and entertained audiences from New York to California, from Michigan to Texas, from Japan to England. Roy Heron is an educator. For over 20 years at Vanderbilt University, Roy taught both law and divinity students in courses he created on religion and law, religion and politics, and justice ministry and advocacy. At Vanderbilt Law School, the senator taught a legislation seminar. As an author, Roy has written four highly regarded books that have won praise from academics and media critics, as well as national leaders in both political parties. His essays and articles have appeared in publications ranging from theological journals to law reviews, from the Japan Times to the Wall Street Journal. What do other educators who've heard Roy say about him as a speaker? Harvard professor and MacArthur Prize winner Howard Gardner says, at a weekend chock full of expert speakers, any talk by Roy Heron is a highlight. He can discuss serious things expertly or bring down the house with his sharp wit or remarkably do both in a short period of time. And in both cases, his generous spirit shines through. Physics professor and Nobel laureate William Phillips says, Roy Heron combines the clarity of a good teacher, the appeal of a popular politician, the spirit of a committed preacher, and the wit of a down-home humorist. Listening to him is both fun and fruitful. Roy grew up to become an Eagle Scout, one of seven Eagle Scouts in his family, including his three sons. After graduating from the University of Tennessee with highest honors, Roy won a Rotary Scholarship to study in Scotland, where he earned first-class honors in New Testament studies. He was one of the first two graduates of the Joint Law and Divinity Program at Vanderbilt University. His wife, Nancy, was the third. Roy was ordained as a Methodist minister and admitted to the Tennessee Bar all in the same year. As a minister, he has preached, taught, and served from rural South Georgia to Hell's Kitchen in New York. As a trial advocate, Roy has represented many injured victims and defended many businesses and individuals who were wrongly accused. As an educator, he has created and taught university courses on leadership. He has founded multiple nonprofits, including a center providing scholarships and education and moral development for young leaders. As a state senator, he was elected caucus chair and floor leader and he led the fight for landmark ethics reform legislation. One journalist called him a true statesman and public servant. Another journalist wrote that Roy Heron has the conscience, character, and resolve America sorely needs today. Roy served in elected office for a quarter century, first in the Tennessee House of Representatives and then in the Tennessee Senate. Roy worked in a bipartisan way to author dozens of laws that strengthened ethics requirements, enabled health care, attacked crime, helped victims. Roy fought to protect children, workers, honest businesses, whistleblowers, and freedoms. He held over 1,000 listening meetings, more than any other Tennessee legislator. He attended almost 1,300 floor sessions, every single session for 26 years, except the day his youngest son was being born. While they are in different political parties and disagree on many issues, former Vice President Al Gore and former U.S. Senate Majority Leader Bill Frist agree. Heron's words are worth reading, his speeches worth hearing. Vice President Gore said of one of Roy's books, with wisdom informed by experience and passion inspired by faith, Heron illuminates the faithful vision and values that politics needs. This book should be read by Christians in pews, pulpits, and public life. U.S. Senate Majority Leader Bill Frist said of that same book, for all citizens, this is an uplifting work that not only affirms our faith, but also underscores the critical role we can all play in contributing to the health and well-being of our nation. Roy brings to your audience the energy of a Boston marathoner. Roy's run over 40 marathons and ultra marathons. He's even done 10 Ironman triathlons, each time going 140 miles, swimming 2.4 miles, biking 112 miles, and then completing a 26.2 mile marathon. Roy brings that Ironman strength and energy to your audience and leaves it with them. But Roy wasn't always an Ironman. In fact, he was the 25th fastest on a high school basketball team of 25 guys. That's why he often talks about going from worst to first and how failing to win really is about failing in order to win. And he will help your audience win. How good a speaker is Roy Heron? James C. Humes, a Churchill biographer and a speechwriter for four American presidents, Eisenhower, Nixon, Ford, and Reagan, said of Roy, 
Roy Heron delivers a sermon to the soul. The Tennessean Heron manifests the social justice of an Andrew Jackson, the charisma of a Davy Crockett. Heron wields the parables of a preacher, the pragmatism of a politician, the logic of a lawyer, and the robust good humor of a raconteur. Why not let the speaker that a presidential speechwriter so admires come speak to you? <laughs>